Hello and welcome back to the bench. Today I'll be looking at these eBay alligator clips that I use to connect various things together. They were a great buy. I think they were only about uh, two bucks for uh, ten of these. But I th the issue is that they're not very well uh, made, and so the connections are sometimes inter intermittent, and even like really low um, current will actually. Uh, start heating them up and uh, sometimes when you're checking resistance they're a little off and they're flaky if you move them and uh, I'll show you why that is and how to fix it so let's get started so the way I get these apart is by um, I spread them and then I let them clamp down on my fingers and then you can pull back the insulation and the problem with these is that this wire is not soldered on. You can see there's just a little bit sticking out. It's actually just crimped together and I'm going to see if I can show you a little closer. <clears throat> you see that crimp? Well the wire is actually just folded underneath that and that's the only thing that makes connection. So obviously it's not a, as good of a connection as soldering. So I'm going to take this apart and solder it up. Now the first thing you got to do is you got to open up this crimp. So the first thing I do is I squeeze it with a pair of pliers. And it lifts up those little tabs. Then you can go with a pair of uh, side cutters or something, something like that. Maybe even small pliers. And you can pry open the crimp. I'm trying to keep this in focus, sorry if it's not. And then you just pull it out. And there we go, we have the two pieces. So then you can straighten out this piece and get all the little stray wires, uh, stray strands into the same pile and then I don't think we're going to need this much wire so I'm just going to trim it just a little short so now we have a neat little wire next thing will be to put it on some helping hands and heat up the soldering iron now that this is all set up into the helping hands you take your soldering iron. Now I have, this, since this tip is really small and this is a lot of metal to heat up, uh, I have this at 400 degrees C, uh, so a little bit higher than you usually would, and I have 60-40 uh, tin lead solder with flux on the inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to tin the tip of the iron to increase the heat um, conductivity. Put it underneath the uh, wire here, and when the wire gets hot enough I'm going to feed some solder into the wire and this will make it easier to uh, solder later. It's called pre-tinning. And the same thing with my alligator clip here but I'm just going to turn my tip with the solder blob upside down and touch the solder blob to the alligator clip and once the alligator clip gets hot enough to melt solder on its own I'm going to bring the solder and make a little bubble on there. So you can see that's pre-tinned as well. And then simplest thing is to feed the wire here through the hole on the underside of the alligator clip and rest it onto the solder uh, bubble we made earlier. And then simply touch the hot tip to both these and keep it down for a couple seconds. Make sure it's all reflowed together and pull away. Now we just need to let this cool for a little and uh, crimp it down. Now that the clip has cooled, I can just remove it and now we have to crimp uh, these little barbs down onto this wire to provide mechanical support so we can tug on the alligator clips a little bit without the, the solder being affected. So, basically all you have to do is you come over with a pair of pliers 
and kind of fold over these uh, triangular bits down onto the wire. I do that with both sides and then squeeze them down and there we go, mechanical support. Then you bring the sheath back over, same thing, squeeze the alligator clip, let it pinch your fingers and then slide the covering over and there you go. Now do the same thing with the other side and you're ready to go. Hope you like this simple video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and see you next time.